Okay. Yeah, we currently have a uh, 1.3 trillion dollar uh, a year deficit run rate. And I'd like to know what specific steps you anticipate you could advocate for and work towards if you were elected to uh, the Senate position to promote. To do what? What, what? what specific steps you could advocate and, and work towards to reduce the deficit? Uh, well, the, 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 the main thing that I would like to do to reduce the deficit is try to convince 40 other senators to stand with me and, and filibuster and not allow the debt ceiling to be raised. Make it a permanent ceiling. And if we can simply do that one thing, then the deficit spending comes to an end by law. Congress has no choice but to cut spending. It might have to be just across the board. I think if they don't literally vote for it, they're just going to cut it across the board. From the salaries of their workers to the Social Security checks, it's all going to cut. And, and I want to force the government to make those tough choices and to make those decisions. So we don't need a balanced budget amendment. All we've got to do is have enough senators that will stand up. And to do that, of course, you have to have senators like me that don't care if they get reelected. Because, of course, they're going to try to you know, vilify anybody. Oh, he's not, he's, he's not letting the Social Security checks go out. You have to be willing to say, that's right. That's right. I'm, that's what I'm doing. Um, you know, I am forcing these decisions on the government. And if they want to make the Social Security payments, then fine. Cut something else. But you've got to cut. We can't spend money we don't have. You had one, one uh, congressman or Senator Bunny who's retiring now, and that's probably why he could be honest. He tried to block... Uh, the government from extending Social Security benefits, I mean, unemployment benefits, which was about $20 billion. He said, well, if we're going to do this, let's, let's not borrow it, let's cut something else. And, but he couldn't get the other senators to go along with him, and so they, they ended up you know, running up a deficit. I want to be there to make sure that there are more people like that so that we stop the government from spending money they don't have. And you know, they think that, well, we have to spend money because the economy is weak and this is the only way to, 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 to get it going. No, the economy is weak because the government is spending too much money. And the more money the government spends, the weaker it's going to get. They haven't figured that out yet. It's a real simple concept, but I gotta, somebody's got to be there and explain it to them. <laughs> but that is the, the, the main way to do it. And I, you know, I am not going to let them increase that, that the debt ceiling. And then, of course, if we block the increase in the debt ceiling, they can try to raise taxes. But they have to pass the tax increase. They have to get a vote. And if we can get 40 senators to block an increase in the national debt, well, those same senators are going to defeat any attempt to raise taxes. I mean, I'm not, I don't want any taxes going up. I want taxes coming down. But they can't come down until we make government smaller, until the government spends less money.